As we all know, some Pokemon games cost an outrageous amount of money to purchase, and I have a few theories as to why that is. Also, once I hit 9,000 subscribers, I'm going to be giving away a $10 Nintendo eShop gift card for your Switch, so make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below after you've done that so I can enter you into the giveaway. First of all, the supply and demand is definitely the main reason for the expensive cost of these Pokemon games. Most of the expensive Pokemon games are from the years 2012 and before. So pretty much the like OG type of game. I know some of you may think 2012 is not OG, but I mean, think about it. That's 11 years ago and that was only what, like 13, 15 ish years after the first Pokemon game released. So, and from that year is Black and White 2, which is why I say some of the most expensive games, because that is one of the most expensive Pokemon games at the moment. When the Pokemon card boom happened, when the entire world was on lockdown, it made a lot of people realize how much they really like Pokemon. It also brought a lot of people back to Pokemon that kind of fell out of, you know, the games and the cards and didn't really care for it too much anymore. People want to buy the older games because they're way better but they're hard to find. So the amount of people that want the old games is very high compared to the availability of the older games. You could walk into a video game store and probably see like 10 copies of Wii Fit, which is just like, they're all over the place. You see Wii Fits everywhere, but you most likely won't see a lot of the older Pokemon games. And if you do see some, it's only like one or two. Like a video game shop rarely has like a single copy of every single Pokemon game available. And if they do, they sell extremely quick because people want them. Of course, people that sell Pokemon games know this, and over time, the price just kind of gets higher and higher. So going back on how the older games are better than the newer ones, I don't think the newer ones are terrible. Like, the newer ones are still really fun. But compared to the older games, the older games just have a special feeling to them. They just, they just play a lot better. They don't have as many bugs and glitches and stuff. The graphics are definitely insanely different, but the old, like, pixelated style is what people like with Pokemon. I'm not saying that the newer graphics are bad, but the pixelated style, like, that's Pokemon. Like, that's OG Pokemon, and that's just not how it is anymore. Which is fine, because, you know, everything has to change and adapt over time, and then that makes the older games more special, because if we still had the pixelated games, the older games might not be as, you know, special in memory, you know what I mean? Currently, the most expensive mainline Pokemon games are Black and White 2, which sell for around 150 to 200-ish dollars, around there. Heart Gold, Soul Silver are pretty much the exact same with the pricing, around 150 to 200-ish. And also the complete in box Game Boy and Game Boy Advance games are also really expensive. Those could be pushing $300 sometimes. You could obviously get a loose copy for a lot cheaper, but I'm just talking about complete in box copies right here. Nostalgia also plays a huge factor in the demand because so many people grew up playing Pokemon because it's literally one of the biggest franchises out there. So millions of kids had Pokemon when they were young, but eventually they grew older and they either threw the games out, they sold them at garage sales, just donated them or just whatever, got rid of them, gave it to somebody. But because of that, people want the games that they used to have. Like people had a Game Boy and they would play, you know, Pokemon Red or whatever. And they don't have that anymore, and they have really fond memories of playing that, and they want to play that again and relive some of those childhood nostalgic memories. So they're willing to pay a premium price for that. And since Pokemon is literally, I think, the largest franchise in the world, if not one of the top, like, five, millions of people are in this boat. Millions of people are going through this exact same feeling and thoughts where they want to play some of the old Pokemon games. And now, people growing up, some of the OG games to them could be like the Gen 4, Gen 5, maybe even Gen 6 games for some people. Accessibility of Nintendo is one of the reasons why most of the games retain their value. Most Nintendo games hold value really well, and they're always wanted by collectors or just wanted to be played by regular people. People know that if they buy a Pokemon game, they're going to be able to get their money back if they ever need to sell the game. So if they need... So if they're ever in like a dire situation where they really need money and they have, you know, a complete in box Soul Silver, they can sell that game pretty much immediately. Like you could post one of these on eBay and it's going to sell really, really fast. People also know that Pokemon games are reliable in the sense of it being an extremely fun game. Like you're not going to wonder like, hmm, is Pokemon a fun game? I don't really know. No one's ever talked about it. But with Pokemon it's different because, because so many people talk about it and they say how much fun they had playing it. So people are more interested in these games and it's definitely a big talking point with a lot of people when they're thinking about getting into older video games or any Pokemon game in general, I guess. The only way to play Pokemon games besides emulating, just pretend emulating doesn't exist in this situation, but the only way to play some Pokemon games is using a Nintendo device. And there's nothing like playing an old Pokemon game on the original hardware, like, you know, playing 
fire rad on the GBA or whatever. It just it has a feel to it. It's 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 hard to describe, but it's true. And I know everyone feels the same way. Although Nintendo did have a lot of the OG Pokemon games on the eShop for only $10 a piece, which is really good because it's just a digital download, so it doesn't, you know, do anything to Nintendo. Like, they don't have to produce any games. They just literally put it on the eShop. People can buy it. But recently, the eShop has closed down, so that could be a small factor as to why some of the games have shot up in value. I know the games have been getting expensive over the last, like, four years-ish, so this probably doesn't play a large factor, but maybe a little bit just because people can't go to the eShop to buy a few of the OG games and they're going to have to resort to buying the physical copy or going to emulation which not everybody wants to emulate because they're too scared or they don't know how or they just don't care about it that much and the Switch doesn't have any of the OG Pokemon games to download too so you can't go to the Switch they only have the newer Pokemon games and then some on the uh, Switch online service for like the N64 and stuff I'd say collectability also plays a factor in this too because Pokemon games and Pokemon themed items are always extremely popular to have in collections people want the rare Pokemon stuff the OG stuff or the stuff that's just not really prevalent or around anymore and uh, sometimes people just pay whatever they don't care what the price is they just want the item so they're willing to pay a premium for their pokemon items they just want to complete their set they want their shelves to look good and now in today's world there are a ton of pokemon collectors whether it be pokemon card games whatever just anything pokemon and since the pokemon company is such a huge corporation with millions and millions of fans that literally will buy anything from them any merch whatever it could be like a shirt stuffed animals stuffed animal like the plush pokemon actually are really popular too but the video games are what made pokemon into what it is today so like pokemon games there's just something special about them compared to other merchandise because there are plenty of things that aren't worth money that are pokemon related like you know some of the mcdonald's pokemon toys or whatever or like you know new t-shirts you could buy them online for just a few dollars but the games are something that are probably going to always hold their value. They may always go up in value, but, you know, there has to be a stopping point for everything. So it's not like they're going to be worth, you know, $50,000 one day. There's going to be a cap on them eventually, but I personally think that they're always going to retain a really healthy value and it's always going to be good to pick up any pokemon game so yeah let me know in the comments if you have any other ideas as to why pokemon games are so expensive in today's world hope you guys enjoyed make sure to leave a like subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video